Now getting an up-close look at the house where Jacksonville police shot and killed a man. Police say the officers shot that man after the man grabbed the officer's taser. Happened at East 19th Street, all south of Martin Luther King Jr. Expressway. And just moments ago, we learned that crime scene tape around the house has recently come down. They moved Ashley Harding to the police memorial building earlier today for that briefing. But Ashley, back over there, you spoke to the wife of the man who was shot by police. Yes, we did. We spoke to her again. You know, JSO said that this man had an active restraining order against him, a, a domestic violence protection order. I asked the wife about that, and she said that she and her husband had reconciled and they were working on their marriage. You can see her right there in the front yard. She is on the phone speaking to people close to her. Now, this is the car that's involved in this. That's where uh, police say he was inside. And police did give their version of events involving a t They say there was a taser and that the, they say the man took the taser from that officer and that's when they opened fire. Now we talked to that woman just moments ago to ask her about that and she told us again a very a conflicting story. Here's what she told us. He shot him right there five times but maybe more and he died. He dropped right there. He was right here. Right there. You see the blood? He died right there. And he was in this. He was in this truck. They tried to force him to get out. He couldn't just jump out because he's heavy. So this, he's, he's a tight squeeze around her. So as he trying to get out, they jumped him. She beat him, then he beat him, then she beat him, then he beat him. Then he finally got out and he wrapped his arms around him and he strangled him. He strangled him till he was about to pass out. So when he did let him go, he moved this way here and ended up right there. And I was standing right there and he come from around that way and shot him. And Joanne Hall told me her husband never grabbed that officer's taser, contrary to what police told us at the police memorial building just a little while ago. Of course, we are going to be asking police to give their version of, of events once again. They say this is still very much under investigation, still a lot to be figured out, including what exactly happened in that first call. That first domestic violence call is about 7.30 last night. They say they will be briefing once again. It'll be later on this afternoon. They tell us an exact time has not been set. We will keep everyone posted. We're live this morning. Ashley Harding, Channel 4, the local station. All right, Ashley.